A license plate has three letters followed by three digits. First question, how many license plates can be made if there are no restrictions on the letters or digits? All right, so we've got these six slots, three letters, and three digits. And I'm separating them this way because it will be easier to, to view exactly how this problem is, is categorized as far as the, the, the counting technique categories. We can look at this as we, we've got these two separate events, the number of ways we can have combinations of, of three letters choosing from the alphabet. So this is like event one. And over here we have this, this second event. That's the number of ways we can uh, arrange three digits choosing from the, the digits zero through nine. This is event two. So once we have the, these total number of outcomes, we're just gonna apply the product rule between those outcomes, the pure product rule, because the outcomes of this event and this event are not overlapping. So, okay, for each of these events, for part A, what we have is, so order matters for both cases, we have a permutation with repetition problem because for part A, we're allowed to repeat letters and digits. So here we're picking from all of the letters in the alphabet. And here we're picking from the, the, the 10 digits, zero through nine. All right, so permutations with repetition is, is easy because for each slot, we've got the number of elements to choose from, but going from one slot to the next, that number of elements stays the same. So it's just the number of elements to the power of the number of slots, 26 cubed. And same idea here, but we've got 10 digits to choose from. Okay, so, so for event one, there's 26 cubed total outcomes. Event two, there's 10 cubed total outcomes. So now we just apply the pure product rule between these two events. Just multiply the total number of outcomes. So part A, the total number of outcomes is 26 cubed times 10 cubed. Okay, part B, how many license plates can be made if no digit or letter may be repeated? Okay, exact same problem, except now for each of these events, it's a permutation, order matters, without repetition problem. That's it. So the total number of outcomes for event one, we're choosing from a group of 26, but it's, it's 26 pick three, 26 P3, which is 26 times 25 times 24. Here it's just 10 P3, 10 times nine times eight. Now we just apply the pure product rule between that, the number of outcomes of these two events. So And there we go.